All right, so I found it, you guys. This AI video clipping tool has changed the game for me and it can help you tremendously too. It's helped me turn my own long form videos into shorts that I can post. So now I can automatically edit them and I can fire my expensive shorts editing team. It's also helped me start brand new TikTok pages and grow them to that pesky 5,000 follower requirement pretty quickly with zero effort on my part at all. I just take them and I clip them from popular creators and turn them into brand new videos. It's helped me come up with great video scripts for winning TikTok shop and winning TikTok affiliate videos and surprisingly does a pretty impressive job too. And there's so many other functions of this software, but I'll walk you through each one here in a second. First things first, I've recommended Opus Pro and Get Munch for I don't know how long now since I started posting on TikTok like a year ago at least. And if you don't know what they are and what they do, essentially they take long form videos from YouTube and elsewhere and then their AI clips out short form vertical videos for you automatically with animated captions based on the best parts in that video that would make a good short, current trending keywords and trending searches, and a number of other important data points. And you can obviously see the value of a software like that, but Opus Pro is $20 a month and doesn't really do the best job in the world, in my opinion. And get Munch, I actually pay for this software myself, but it's $50 a month. And you can see it's $50 a month for 200 upload minutes. I pay for this, but not anymore. Now, Simplified is only $11 a month, and you might think like, all right, well, it must not be as good, right? Or it must not do as much. And I thought the same thing until I tested it out and found out that not only does it do a better job at automatically clipping my content and putting animated captions on it, but it does a lot more than that too. I discovered this about an hour ago and my mind's kind of been blown ever since. As they say, what you don't know can be really expensive, and that was certainly the case for me up until about an hour ago. And you can see a brief run through right here of all the different options that the video generator comes with on top of those, right? It's not just that 200 minutes a month. It's not just the animated subtitles. You have a number of other things, text to video, voice cloning, image to video, quick tools. It also comes with transitions, presets, and a number of other things, right? But if you go to simplified.com, you'll actually see that they have a lot of different use cases and functions here. You have an AI block writer, you have an AI chatbot, you have an AI article writer, you have an AI design tool for thumbnails or for posts, you have an AI social media tool that will help you plan, schedule, and track all the things that you post and all the traffic coming from your different socials, which is a game changer in general. I used to pay for a social media planning tool that would schedule all my content periodically, but you don't need to do that anymore. And you'll also see the AI video tool here, which is what I use primarily and what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial. But if you want a detailed run through of everything that they offer, you can see them all right here, the AI design tool, everything that comes with it, the AI writer, the AI social media tool, and all the different functionalities of each of those tools. But if you go to the AI video right here, under products, it's gonna take you into a dashboard that looks a lot like this, right? And if you scroll down, you can see that you have the AI clips feature, which is what I primarily use it for. This is going to allow you to, if you're a content creator already, clip your long form videos down into short form videos that you can then post to TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube shorts, you name it. That way you don't need to pay for an expensive editor to do that short form clipping for you because that can get pricey fast, trust me. The AI does a very good job at choosing the different pieces of short form videos and why they'd be good pieces based on current trends, current high volume search traffic and keywords. And it also puts animated captions on it like you can see here and you can pick from different animated captions. It's not just one specific caption theme. You can choose kind of the look and feel of your captions because there's options, which is a really cool feature. There's also an AI subtitles feature, which is really cool for YouTube videos because you can put these cool captions on your YouTube videos now as well, which will increase the viewer retention and hopefully keep people a little bit longer on your videos just because it's been proven that if people can read as well as they're seeing as well as they're listening it hits all those different functions of a person like auditory or whatever they're all called right so it's been proven that that does maintain viewer retention you can now do that with your youtube videos or your long form content the ai voice cloning is really scary in my opinion because you can now put your ai voice in there and then generate a similar voice to you that can then create voiceovers and you don't have to actually record it you can just input put your script and then an AI voice that sounds just like you will spit the script back and to the untrained ear that doesn't know you very well it will sound 
eerily similar. Like, it's scary, right? It's not perfect yet, in my opinion, but it's getting better, and who knows where it'll be a month from now. It might be indistinguishable. And you can also get scripts for your TikTok and your Reels, right? So this is what I was talking about when I was trying to come up with good scripts for my TikTok shop videos. I would give it ideas. I'd give it keywords, say, hey, I'm thinking about this, and it would pop back a weirdly good script that I could then read with a good hook in the beginning. And I've gotten some good scripts back from just using this tool as well, so play around with it. But the main feature of this that I think is really good is the AI clips feature. So if you just go up here to generate with AI, you can see all the different functions here, and we're gonna click AI clips, which is just repurpose your long form video. Now, if you already have the video file, like if you're a creator, then just drop and drag your video file from your own computer or from the cloud or whatever. Or if you wanna just do it, you can paste a YouTube link in here. Now for the majority of you, because I know a lot of people always ask me like, how can you get to 5,000 followers on TikTok very fast? And there's multiple ways to do it. But one of the easiest ways is just post other people's content that are already popular within your niche, right? So if you wanna grow a fitness page, for example, then take Sam Sulik or another popular fitness influencer that has a lot of YouTube videos already and just paste their videos into the software. This is gonna be transformative because you're taking their videos, you're taking short form clips of their videos. We just go to Sam Sulik on YouTube. We can then take his video here, take the URL of his video, paste it right here, and then click upload. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna take that video and run it through their AI clip generator and spit you back tons of short form video clips that have a high likelihood to go viral on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube shorts or wherever with animated captions so they look great as well and they hopefully keep viewer retention a lot better than if they did not have that. And it's really valuable for us if we're trying to grow a page because we can start from zero and piggyback off the popularity of somebody that's already getting a lot of views and already has a brand notoriety. We don't have to start from scratch. So for example, if you wanted to start a fitness page and grow it to 5,000 followers really fast, you could just use this software to clip up Sam Sulik's videos with animated captions, post them all instantly because you don't have to download them from this software. You can just automatically, once you link your TikTok or your Instagram, post them directly there. It does it all for you. And if you did that with some level of consistency, you would be able to get to 5,000 followers relatively fast, assuming of course that you're picking an influencer or somebody that has a lot of notoriety and a brand already, that's why you use Sam Sulik. If, for example, you were trying to grow in like the entrepreneurship or the marketing space, you could pick Gary Vee or somebody like that. In any space, there's an influencer or a brand already that you can use their videos, right? And people always have the objection of like, will that creator get mad? Will you get copyright? And it's like, no, you won't get copyright, number one, on most cases, because it's transformative. You're adding transitions. You're taking short bits of their clip. You're adding captions to it. So oftentimes especially if you're not linking products in your videos and you're just trying to grow a TikTok page without doing that, then you won't get any copyrights on it. And smart creators know that this is a good thing because we're spending our sweat equity and our effort and our time to blow their brands up further. So why would they be mad about that? Most of them won't. Every once in a while, you will run into the issue of somebody that gets annoyed by it or maybe your video gets muted, but that's only a select few creators. I've done this probably with a dozen or so people and only had an issue like once or twice. So it's about testing in the beginning. I can tell you right off the bat, Joe Rogan doesn't care. Gary Vee doesn't care. Sam Sulik doesn't care. And the smart influencers out there will not care. And you can piggyback off their content to blow your page up fast. So went off on a little tangent there because I get that question all the time, but I just kind of wanted to break it down for you. So you understood it. Now, right here, we're going to choose English because it's English and then click generate clips and proceed. And when that's done, depending on how long the video is, it could take five minutes. If it's a relatively short video, this video was 45 minutes. So this might take 15, 20 minutes potentially, but when it's done, it will email you and let you know that your clips are ready, as well as show you on this main page here. Now, I've been doing this with my clips in the background here, and you can see just how good it does, right? It clips short portions of the video, so 59 seconds of my long-form video here, 59 seconds here, 59 seconds here, so right under that 60-second mark. It also gives you a potential virality score, so you know if it's got a good chance to go viral based on current search trends, based on the rating of that video and the intro hook. So just to play one as an example, products where all signs point to good and you're ready to start testing it yourself now it's time to make the product video whether you're using a product research software or you so see how it zooms in as well it has transitions gives you the animated captions it does a really good job of clipping your videos automatically for you 
But let's say for example, like you wanted to switch something up and you wanted to edit it a little bit further. What you could do is you could just click this edit button and that's gonna take you into an editing function within this software where you can either edit the script out, which will then cut those words and that part out, or you can change up the subtitles. You can actually add text. You can even add visuals and B-roll yourself as well, right? So for example, if we go to the beginning here where it starts with product, where all signs point to good and you're ready to start publishing yourself, now it's time. So like, let's say we didn't like that beginning there. We could just take it, delete it out, trim it, and then bam, it's gonna start it new at now it's time to make the product video. Also, let's say we didn't like where it ended. There's many ways to do this and they all work. You can order the product. We don't like that part. Again, we just select it and we trim it out. And now it's gonna end here and it's gonna start there. And you could always play it here and see what it looks like to make sure that you like your edits. If you wanna change the captions, just click on captions. You can edit them just the same. And when you do like a video, let's say you like eight out of the 10 that it provides you based on the virality score, based on the intro hook, based on the overall bones of the video, you can either download them and post them yourself. Or once you link your TikTok or your Instagram or your social media or whatever, you can just click publish and publish them directly to TikTok or wherever, right from the software. You don't have to download them and then upload them yourself. So this software is a game changer, guys. Not only does it cut the price down, like I said, I literally used to pay for GetMunch I'm done with that. Opus Pro, not on this level, but this software does a great job at clipping your content and also comes with all the other stuff involved, like the subtitles, the voice cloning, the script generator, as well as all these other tools as well, right? This remove background is really cool for a green screen effect on certain TikTok videos. And there's so many use cases for this. So if you wanna try this software out, I'll have a link in the description with hopefully a discount code that I can set up with the company. Whether you're trying to grow your own social media and just clip your videos, this is a game changer. Or if you're trying to get to that pesky 5,000 follower mark on TikTok so that you can start TikTok affiliates, using this software is going to shortcut that process for you. Hope it helps.